Welcome one more time to your favorite program on social media, YouTube, and we call it Revival and Reformation. I am so glad. But let me say something to you, viewers watching this. Jesus is the message. Is the message. That is number one. Number two. The message. Um, Jesus wrote to the seven churches in Asia Minor in Revelation chapter 2 and 3 and said many things peculiar to each of those seven churches. However, he will always end his message to each of the churches by saying, let him that has ear hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Even though this church, particular church, is being addressed, but there is something you can also learn from that church so that we don't repeat some of their mistakes, or you hear something good that they do, you can emulate what is good. Now, the seven churches, only one church did not get any review, mm -hmm. and that is the church of Philadelphia. And of the seven churches also, only one church did not get any commendation, and that is the last church, the church of Laodicea, Revelations 3, 17, mm -hmm. downward. Okay, so what are we saying? God wants us to go back to the basic mm -hmm. message. Prosperity message is not the gospel message. Mm -hmm. The motivational stuff is not the gospel, gospel message. message. Okay, you know, mm -hmm. Jesus is the message. And Ephesians 4, 13 tells us, until we come to the entry of the faith and the knowledge mm -hmm. of the Son mm -hmm. of God. We come to the knowledge of the Son of God, mm -hmm. and that is Jesus. That is the one we need to know so that we can go through this life with assurance mm -hmm that we are going to heaven at the last day. So that we don't miss this important place which God has given us. And that is why Paul will say, after you have been saved through grace, now there is a walking out, you know. There is a positional righteousness that was imputed to us through the righteousness of Christ. Yes, but there is that yeah. aspect that we walk out, you know. Paul will say, by grace we are saved through faith, you know, not of works, lest anybody takes credit for it. But he will now say, walk out your salvation with fear, fear and trembling. trembling. So that is the human part. And the same grace that has brought us to salvation is able to make it possible yes. for us. You know, Jesus said, with men, you know, this is impossible, but not with God, because with, for with God all things shall be possible. So our point, our focus in this teaching is to show Jesus, Jesus so that we will not miss him. So that when he comes knocking, we will open the door for him because he, he, we belong to him in the first place. And two, like he wrote to the first church, the church of Ephesus, that we will not leave our first love, our devotion, our communion, our fervency, our love for him will not diminish. We will always go back. So that is the whole essence of this teaching. And that's why skillful scribes like Reverend Akinola has been with us for four weeks, you know, sharing these thoughts with us and helping us to understand them in a very simple way, not complicated. I remember cameraman Emmanuel was saying last week that he liked the way the teaching came with simplicity about the cloud of witnesses so that we don't have to go and look for dictionary to understand what God is saying, to make it very simple. The gospel is so simple, but sometimes we make it complex by the, you know, all the exegesis and all of those things. Revelations. And revelations. Yeah, revelations, you know. <laughs> something, some people will call it debts. And Jesus also <laughs> referred to <laughs> that. He should say some of you have not gone into what they call the debts of Satan. Uh, you must pray for o'clock mm -hmm. for your prayer to be answered. Mm -hmm. It must be by 12 midnight before your prayer can be answered. Mm -hmm. uh, prayer pray by 7 o'clock. No, no, be no, naked no, no. So, that, so that you go, we see you the way you are created and when you are praying. Come on, <laughs> come on. So that's what God needs to say. <laughs> to answer us, not Jesus. <laughs> oh, Reverend, Reverend Kela. Okay, we are back in Hebrews chapter 12. And, you know, guess what? I want us to go to chapter 13. But Reverend Akiola always has something. I believe it's by the Spirit that he would like us to see again from that scripture. Now, remember our take home last week, looking unto Jesus, Jesus, who is the author and finisher of our faith. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we are surrounded by these great witnesses, you know, they do from the cloud of witnesses in Hebrews 11, the heroes of faith. So we now know that somebody, God is watching us, and these heroes of faith are also watching us and cheering us 
as we see in scripture. Okay, so in, in the 18th verse of the same Hebrew story, it says, for you have not come, first let me, you know, so that we are, you know why we are skipping some things, you know, it, it began by saying that we should look at him, consider him who endured such hostility from sinners against himself, talking about Jesus, because it's about Jesus, all about Jesus, lest you become weary and discourage you also because you are passing through some, you know, temporal challenges. You have not resisted blood, striving against sin, you know. He said, whom the Lord loves, he chastens and scourges every mm, son whom he receives. So it's not every challenge that is from Satan. Sure. You know, there are things that are meant to make us good and better Stronger. believers, dis disciples. He said, if you endure chastening, God deals with you as sons. Okay? Then he says, now, no chastening seems to be joyful for the present, but painful. Nevertheless, afterward, it yields the peaceable fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. Therefore, strengthen the hands which hang down and the feeble knees. Make straight path, straight path for your feet, so that what is clear may not be dislocated, but rather be healed. Yeah. Also, peace, peace with all people and holiness. We call it sound doctrine. Mm -hmm. You know, booting them out. Then we come to verse 18. For you have not come to the mountain, Reverend Kevlar, mm -hmm. that may be touched and are burned with fire and to blackness and darkness, darkness and yes. tempest. Mm -hmm. Referring so. to Sinai, I guess. Yes. When um, Jesus, um, Moses went there to see 19. the, you know, okay, the, the, the law. Exodus 19. For they could not endure, sorry, yeah, and the sound of a trumpet and the voice of words so that those who heard it begged that the word should not be spoken to them anymore. For they could not endure what was commanded. And in so much as a beast touches a mountain, it shall be stoned or shot with an arrow. In mm -hmm. case you don't know what he's saying here, you know, when God said to Moses to come there, he said, make sure nobody was grazing any animal. That's nobody true. should come near. God's presence was coming down, you know, you know, as it, as it is. And so terrifying was the sight mm -hmm. of God's presence and descending through the clouds that Moses said, even Moses, who was the oracle of God, the man who was to meet God said, I am exceedingly afraid and trembling. He said, but now, in this better testament, you have come to Mount Zion, <laughs> to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, to an innumerable company of angels, to the general assembly and church of the firstborn who are registered in heaven, to God the judge of all, to the spirits of just men made perfect, and then to Jesus, Jesus the bringing it down, the mediator of the no new covenant. covenant. No man, no man, Jesus is the mediator. And the to the blood of sprinkling that speaks better things than, than, the, the, than that of Abel. Mm -hmm. Reverend Kiola, please help us. This is interesting. Well, now, from what we have read here, in Exodus chapter 19, before yes, sir. they got the, the, the law. law, yes, sir. God said they should come and assemble. Yes, sir. But because God actually wanted to appear and speak to the people. Okay. But then, when it was about the time, <laughs> there were all this trembling, <laughs> cloud, fire, and everything. People were, people were afraid. <laughs> and they, they, they told Moses, go and meet your <laughs> father. <laughs> Let us stay. Go and collect the When they would have been excited that they would have God. Yes. But they were... So he's telling us that we have not come, what we have come, we are talking about better. 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 Mm. Better covenant, better mm. promise, mm -hmm. better testament, mm -hmm. better priesthood, mm. better sacrifice. Mm. We have come to a better thing. Mm. The Manzion that it means here is not, it's not you know, many times Manzion we say it's Jerusalem. Yes, but sir? this time around, he's talking about spiritual, mm. the spiritual church. Yes, sir, the spiritual church. Spiritual church, church not the building. Mm. Oh. So mm. when you the moment you give your life to Christ, you belong to the to the church, which is the body of Christ. So it's spiritual. It's, it's spiritual. It's not the physical. It's not the physical building. building. And it's not the denomination. A, it's not the denomination. I'm a member of the church in America, and when I get to the U.S., I join the church. I'm a part of the church in mm. America. Mm. If I go to China. I'm still a member of the church in China. I must belong. I must belong. It is not a matter of which denomination am I going mm -hmm. to. Denomination is just to be able to identify ourselves. Okay. To be able to organize ourselves. Okay. 
the church is the body of Christ that he wow. died mm. for. Okay. And we should know, just like he said, we have witnesses, cloud of witnesses. These are part of the church. Wow. The saints that have done it that have gone. And they are part of this. They are waiting for us. Because there will be a day that all of us will meet and exactly. we will rejoice together. So they are part of the church. And it says that here, the general assembly and the church of the firstborn. Who is the firstborn? The firstborn is in Colossians chapter 1, hmm. verse 16. Yes, sir. I was talking about Jesus as the firstborn oh, of all Lord. creation. Yeah. The who registered in heaven to hey. God, the judge of all. Hey. You have come to God, the judge of all. Hey, the judge of you all. have come to the spirit of just men made ah, perfect. Ah, ah, ah. Just men made perfect, not by their work, hey, hey. by the finished work of the Lord Jesus oh, Christ on the cross of Calvary. Finally, I say to Jesus, the mm -hmm. mediator of the new covenant. And that brings us to First Timothy chapter 2. Yes, sir. First Timothy. It says in verse, verse 4. Verse, let me read from verse 3. Let, let, let me open, sir. First Timothy 2. Chap two. Okay. Let, I'll read three. from verse 3. Yes, sir. It says, for this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, uh -huh. who desires that all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of, of the, the truth. truth. Knowledge of the truth. Yes, sir. Knowledge of the truth. Who is the truth? He said, I'm the truth. Hmm. I'm the way, the and truth, life. and life. Hmm. And so the truth is Jesus. So G the truth, the is, truth a is a person. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Who says to come to the knowledge of Jesus. Yeah. Yes, sir. I'm substituting that truth yes, sir. to Jesus. Exactly, exactly. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. For there is one God, mm -hmm. one, mediator, one mediator, between God and, and man, the man, Christ Jesus. So you are saying that there can be no two mediators. N there can never be. There is no, no other person went to the cross. The American church, no. another mediator from the church no. in the Far East, no. another mediator for the church in no. Africa, one mediator. The only one that hung on the three hey. between heaven and earth was Jesus. Hey. If you look at when Jesus Christ was being crucified, his leg was not touching the earth. Yes. It was, it was hung, it was in the yes, middle. Yes, it was hung. Uh, and so he paid the ultimate price, hmm. bringing together the forces of God. And so oh. he did, he mediation, when you are talking about mediation, yes, sir. someone that has come to set you quarry. Okay, exactly. Let me give an example. Okay. Again, let me be like Paul. Okay. <laughs> let me, let's, let's use football. <laughs> this man is a, is a poor follower, <laughs> like me. <laughs> let's use football. Uh, yeah, I like you that. Find, um, we have two teams playing. You have a referee. The very referee is a mediator. He's a mediator. So what is it there? Impartial. When, when there is any um, whatever, he foul, foul or whatever, he brings them and says, you are the one that is wrong. The, you may score. And he will say, you, no, it's not they a goal. It's, it's, it's the offside. <laughs> the mediator. Wow. Jesus is the one that the mediator between the two footballers, the heavenly host. And the earthly wow. people. Wow. He was the one that brought us together. So when Jesus Christ went to the cross, cross. and he spread his arms, he's connecting, reconciling God mm -hmm. with man. Wow. He's mediating, settling so, correct. These people are these people are full of sin. Okay. And the eyes of the Lord cannot behold iniquity. Okay. But Jesus Christ at that time was carrying the sins of the world. Wow. And he paid the ultimate price. Wow. Thereby reconciling man to God. to God. When man sees God now, when God sees man now, he's not seeing the sin of man. Hmm. But that sin of man was being carried hey. by the, Lord, by the Lord, Jesus. Lord Jesus Christ. And so man is free completely from it. So he hmm. had meditated. Hmm. And so man can go straight to God. Okay. You find out the temple, the temple. Um, Veil. Yes, sir. What happened to it? Broke into two. Wow. And men that were not able to go to the holies oh, of holies, oh. now they have easy access to the holy holies, mm. which happens to be the symbol symbol of the presence, hmm. the place of God wow. at that particular time. Wow. So he has the Lord has settled that. And so when you come to church, hmm. you have come to meet all these and all these people. You have the only mediator. Is the Lord Jesus is Christ? The Lord Jesus. No, the, when the pastor says the, the pastor did not die for us, the bishop, Archbishop, did not die for us. They too, they need a savior. Ah, 
just like me, just like we any all need. We all need this Jesus who is our mediator. Okay, okay, then I need to ask you a question. I, yeah, need to ask a question. I know that our viewers will like this. Is there a level that a man of God can come because of his work with God that he can take up that position as a mediator? Is there a work with God? Is there an experience? Is it about the size of the congregation? Is there anything that a man could have experience, wait, or anything that would qualify him as to take that position, take of, a that position of a mediator? Mm -hmm. So he should say one God and, and one, one mediator. mediator. Reverend Akiola? Um, the best any pastor can be, the best. or the best it can be, is to intercede, and that's the work of a priest, of a pastor. To intercede. intercede. And you are not going to, you are, the, the, it's you to you, you go to God. But number one, I will say this, pastors, they have their own work. Mm -hmm. Bishops, they have their own work. Yes. And their work is because we are, not, we are not equally endowed. Uh -huh. My relationship with God is different from yours. Okay. Yours is different from mine. Yes. You are on higher level. I mean, on low, lower level. Okay. There are some people that are still lower. Yes. And some, there are some people that cannot and pay the so price. To some other, so some people, other people. Yes, see, that's the same. God can, God can even <laughs> judge, judge anyway. it. Uh, God that can judge it. Yes, sir. And so, well, um, that particular person that we think is low and he sees himself is low, oh. our work is to bring him to come and know oh. this Jesus, to, to come connect and know him. Jesus. To teach him because yeah. we know better. Yes, sir. You, you have gone to Bible. We have gone to Bible college. He has not had the opportunity of mm. going to Bible college. Mm. Our our own work is to make him to draw to draw him by yes, God's sir. grace. Yes, sir. To know God more. Okay. Apart from that, the, when when he has a problem, he wants us to pray for him. Our go our work is to pray for him, but we should not be God over him. Hey, we should not be God over, over him. him. We should not be God over him. Because there's only there's one only God. one God. Actually, what we need to do is to teach him to be able to connect God, to oh. pray. To pray. If he's sick, you don't need me. Pray, God can heal you. If you are, I just imagine somebody that is traveling and armed robbers come. You want to go and meet your pastor? How would that to come person? and deliver you from armed robber. But right there, you can cry to the mediator. Hey, whoever calls upon the name of the <laughs> no, Lord no, shall, shall be, saved. be saved. You can call upon God. That's the only because if you come to your pastor self, your pastor will have to go hey. and hey, 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 talk hey. to God. Hey. So he can the pastor cannot stand so why don't in the position of just teach me how teach to me connect, how to, connect him to him directly. Instead of looking for yes. him when, everywhere. When we come, the Bible says, I think in First Timothy that we when we come together, some will come with Psalms. Yes, sir. Some with hymns. Yes, sir. Some will come. When we come together, <laughs> we have come to Jesus, iron sharpens iron. Yes, sir. Yes, so sir. last week we were discussing something. Yes, sir. I can't remember the last time I took the Bible study in our church. Okay. I sit down. Okay. And another pastor are taking it. Okay. Yes. I, 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 I am part of the people. Sometimes I, I write mm. the Bible study. Mm. I bring all the pastors together. Mm. We, we teach ourselves. Yes, sir. When I'm teaching, we have questions you ask. We have the other dimensions you give me. Yes. Others we know. Because yes. nobody has everything. Nobody has everything. Everything. So, so no, no, so. no. Reverend Kola, you, you just struck another chord. Nobody has mm, everything. Nobody has everything. So which The moment you have everything, you have become God, sir. Oh, ho, ho. So now, can you imagine what this service I will do to our viewers if I didn't bring you on this platform, <laughs> if I didn't bring Reverend Tony on this, yeah, platform, this platform, if I'm assuming that, that know I know all. it all, I mm. know it all, mm. so those people who sit under my teaching are short-changed. They will be as lim they will know as much as you know. They can't grow more than you unless they are making efforts to to know God through other. And our our duty is to make. I tell go and read books. But read correct books. One thing that is happening, you will have touched them yourself that when they are reading counterfeits, they will know this is they not, mm -mm. This is not, this is not right. A member of our church went to UK and he went to a church. She called me and told me, ah, I went to this church, this is what they said. They even gave me a Bible. She knew the truth. 
different from the Canterbury that was being taught. Yes, sir. Because she had been mm. taught. Yes, sir. So our own is to, don't worry, your, I always give an example. If you have a dog or a fowl and you treat very, very well, yes. take that dog from here to Yaba and drop him there. He will find his way. My goodness. So if you teach, you don't need to be afraid that my members will well, go. I will lose my member. Don't let them, my members should not go to another church. Hey. If they want to go, let them go. Let them go. If they get to there, the place, they will find their way. If you are teaching them well and you are feeding them well, they will always remember, they will come back to you. Just like you said last week that, uh, I think you said it off the recording, that it's like somebody who instead of eating the corn, is just is the, 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 the shaft. The, the shaft. Yeah, the so, shaft. Yeah. Uh, and, and I can tell you authoritatively, you know anyway, that lots of people who are Christians are not fed well. They are, not they are fed eating well. jobs, 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 food that cannot sustain them spiritually. Actually, they want, they want, fast, they want fast food now. Many places now, but some of the things that we are talking about, so I always say, mm, don't mind them. Oh. In, in churches now, Patience, they don't teach patience again. We don't teach patience again. We don't teach endurance again. Don't we don't teach perseverance again. Yes. We don't teach gentleness and meekness again. You have be, blow your trumpet. That is what we are teaching now. Wow. Blow your trumpet. It's not that you allow God to promote, to you. promote you. Do everything you need to do wherever you are to be known and to be shown. And the Bible is not by mind, it's not by power. If it is by might or by power, people that are doing that are doing kaya in my trail, they will be richer than lecturers. We have lecturers that taught Elumelu who are the lecturer. Well, he has employed some of his lecturers, lecturers to be working under him. Work under him. So you find that this, the grace of God is 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 very important here. And so when we are teaching, let's teach hard work. Yes, sir. We must teach hard work. Hard work. But when we are teaching mm. hard work, the we must teach. Then we work. must teach integrity with it. Oh my goodness! We must teach integrity with it. It's not that we work hard and just make money anyhow. Anyway, the money I think, comes. I think this is another thing for another subject for another day that I would really like us to discuss: the value of honesty, the value uh, of, of, of doing hard work, hard doing work, things the right instead way. Instead of just looking for miracle money here and there, mm -hmm. which has led us into this. Stream of uh, you know of, of some people are no longer see. working. They why well, you give them work? You said they are praying. They are praying for miracle. You are not working. God will work on your labor. Not just you can't sleep down. And someone you come and drop money. You said that we bless the work yeah, of the your work hands. Of your so hands. that will be working your hands. Yes. For God to bless it. Okay. Let me ask this question, uh, uh, Reverend. As we are very close to the end, we just have about uh, eight minutes thereabout. I like when he said. Verse 24, to Jesus, the mediator of the yeah. new covenant, still confirming what you took us in. in we are still on 12. We yes, have not even got to 13. Exactly. We have not even got to 13. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, Can you imagine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope. Yeah. Now he says, to, the, to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, yeah. and to the blood of sprinkling that speaks better, better things than that of, of Abel. Abel. Okay, that's where I'm going, sir. Okay, sir. We were told in scripture that God accepted the sacrifice of, of Abel. Abel. Sure. So we want to know why God accepted his sacrifice. Number two, we want to ask why the sacrifice of Jesus is still better, better than Abel. No matter, how, no matter who Abel is, Abel is still a man that is born in sin. <laughs> Adamic nature. Adamic nature. Um, I think it's Genesis chapter 5. Yes, sir. I want us to look at Genesis chapter 5. Yes, sir. That will explain Genesis, Genesis chapter 5. five. Yes, there we go. It's a, it's a very simple thing that the Bible says. This yes. is the book of the genealogy of Adam. Yes, sir. In the day that God created man, mm -hmm. he made him in the likeness of God. Exactly, sir. When God created Adam. Yes, sir. In the likeness of God. Of God. He made him in the likeness of God. He created them male and female. Yes, sir and blessed them, and called them mankind, mankind. in the day they were created. created. And Adam lived 130 years, and begot his son in his own likeness. Okay. Whoa. Meanwhile, in his likeness, that was after chapter 3 okay. exactly. of Genesis. Genesis. Chapter 1, chapter 2, beautiful. beautiful. Chapter 3, Adam oh. and Eve had a visitor. Yes, sir. The visitor was the devil that contaminated the original 
blood. Yes. This yes. blood, blood mm -hmm. polluted yes, Adam and corrupted. Eve. Corrupted it. Exactly. So when Abel, um, Cain, said all of them were being born, yes, sir. they were born in that corruptive, corruptive, corruptive nature. Hmm. It's no longer the, 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 the Adam that was in the likeness, because they were born in the likeness of Adam. Now, Reverend Kenna, I, I must confess to you, the God is my witness, that I've never seen this dimension before. Uh, but you, you, is, but am I correct, sir? But you are correct, because this is, he said he created dead male and female. Um, no, let me start from verse 1. Mm. In the day that God created man, he made him in, in the, the likeness, likeness of, of God. God. Adam was like God. Okay, but like in God. verse 3, and Adam lived 130 years, and mm. begot his son in his own likeness, after his image. image. Something has, has changed. And something has changed. Go back to you. So, what is the question. moment that sin has changed, but we know the Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ was born without the seed of, of man. man. It was a seed of woman. Born and not created. Not created. It was not the, the contamination. Hmm. Was not, was not there. The corruption hmm, was, was not, not there. there. So he was the only one hmm. that, that we are to be, we can go back to that mediator. He was the only one that is qualified. Whoa. Sir, you won't have an arm robber sitting down to be the judge against another arm robber. It's, 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 not it's, it's not qualified. So then we assume that every judge that sits down there has no sin. He can't be judging. So if Jesus is going to be the one that reconciles God and man, he must be without sin. He must be without and so sin. Is, is the, the, when Adam, when Abel gave Chakra, he used animal. Yes, sir. Because he is not even qualified to, to stand Whoa. there. But Jesus Christ is qualified. But this was a man that had no sin. Hey. The devil tried, they tried so many, the, the Pharisees tried to make him to say something that was wrong. But no sin was found mm -hmm. in him, and that was what qualified him. So I, the animals have been used for many years, mm -hmm. but this particular time, that's why we say it's a better sacrifice. Hey. Better sacrifice. It's not the blood of animal now, but the blood of, that's why his own sacrifice is quite better hey. than that of Abel. Is sacrifice is better than that of Abel. This but this is sacrifice of a man, the son of God mm. that mm. had no sin. That had no there sin. was no transgression, mm. no iniquity found in him. No sin, in, no his sin in his DNA. No and corruption. so because no corruption in his DNA, that's the only thing that qualified him so that's to be why. able to go to the cross. Exactly, sir. So that's cross. why Jesus is the mediator of the new covenant and the blood of a sprinkling yeah. has to speak better, better thing than, than that, that of, of Abel. Abel. The blood of Abel is speaking vengeance. The blood of a man that was killed by his brother, if he had his chance, he will not just, it's not Jesus, he won't say, Father, forgive me. <laughs> but they don't know what they are doing. <laughs> Thank <laughs> God like Stephen prayed for his enemy. Hey. But we can't say the spirit of Abel. And we don't, but then, this was, the, the, it, 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 there would be a kind of bitterness. As I child was being killed, he would feel bad about his brother. But Jesus Christ had a better covenant because there was no bitterness. There was no, it was just, he was just praying. Uh, regular, you know, so. I, I was listening to a, a man of God recently who said, you know, talking about, uh, having power, connecting with power, you know, you saw the pictures of some God Jira somewhere and people are going there, they will take the picture, stick to the picture if, you know, you you like the way God used that person, maybe you feel that's your way of healing or whatever, so you go, so and I'm asking myself, Jesus that gave the power is seated He's on the right there. hand of God, right? And he said, this man said, some people went to the graveyard of a man of God and well, the two of them went there to pray and uh, they fell under the anointing. I'm saying, is that scriptural? Is, should we follow such things? As well, if we need to be very, very careful. The, the one that we are dealing with, the devil is a very bad devil. And if we are not very careful, many of us will carry the spirit that we are not supposed to carry. 
as we begin to follow some of these things. The Bible said it that um, um, it's, that it's written that judge after death yes. there is judgment. judgment. Yes. So now if after death there is judgment, the person that you are going to meet is, is waiting for judgment and you are going there and you don't know the kind of judgment hey, that is going to he's come going on, to him, come on him. him. He's going to come on, me, on, on, on him. him. Because like we said, when this man and the man with Lazarus, when the, he was the rich man, yes. He was being ailed here. Yes, people were people ailing, ailing him. That is it. But is, where, a, is the example or role model for, for such, such uh, Yes. Everybody but, wants to be but, like him. But right there. Right there. He's in, he's in pains and agony. And now you now say you want to be like him. You are going to his graveyard to go and pray. To who? So I want to you. thank you so much, sir, for all the insights that you have brought. And we are not stopping this program because the insights have... Uh, been exhausted, but because time is exhausted, and you know, mm -hmm. but my joy is that uh, very soon again, Reverend Keller will be back on this program uh, to consider some of the things that must be restored in the church. You know, the value for work and sincerity and honesty, and not just pursuing things of this life. Uh, so, what is our take home today? To the glory of God, we have someone whose blood mm -hmm. speaks better that things than the blood of. Abel. Abel was now in the image of his fallen parents. Yes. His parents came in the perfect image of God before the corruption came. Well, we still look like God, facially, but the content is no more. No more. We have become purely Adamic. And Jesus is the only person from Adam up to today who was born and not created, who had no DNA of sin. The only qualified person. So if your trust is in the pastor or a deity or God, I'm asking you to make a U-turn. You know, somebody said, in case you are headed in the wrong direction, God does allow you turn. So you can turn and return to the Lord Jesus. Now, you, you want clarity. You want answers to many questions. Feel free to put a call through. Number two, David Street, Ketu Alakwere, in Upper Room Baptist Church. That's the name of the church. That is where this man of God ministers every week. Just get there and get an appointment. If you come to 11 Lukoju Bypass, just come and get an appointment, and you will be led in the right way you, to connect. That is our duty as pastors, not to play God or stand in the position of God or no, a mediator, no. but to introduce you to this one God mm. and this one mediator. Please continue to share this good news. Share with your friends. Go to our YouTube and you can click the button to subscribe so that when a new message comes, it will give you a, a, a notice so that you can continue to watch it. And let me tell you something. Watch it over and over until it really registers and gives you a blessing. The Lord bless you. Reverend Gala, thank you so much for God we hope you. to have you back again very soon. Thank and the Lord's grace be with you now forever. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. Bye bye. God bless you.